With March Madness underway and baseball season in full swing, most are thinking about the hype that comes with watching their favorite team. But the Louisiana College Art Department hosted an event of its own that stirred up a different kind of hype. The Louisiana College Art Department hosted its first juried art show of the semester, and senior Lauren Delanwa says she had quite an adrenaline rush waiting to hear the result. I was very nervous. In the first place. Delanwa took first place in one of the categories judged, but the art for her was more than just about winning a prize. It was about the meaning of the work. I really liked the idea of the of the reinventing the, the mom jean style. And so I, I tried to do an ad that would be more appealing. I wanted the mom jeans to be attractive. There were stories behind every artwork shown, but student Phil Halliburton had a less than artistic motivation behind his. Story behind it, it was Thursday night, realized I didn't have anything to turn in for the art show. Deadline was Friday, so. Busted out the old oil pastels and drew a picture of a tree. Regardless of the motivation behind the art, students came in by the droves, and the LC Art Department hopes they took something away besides just a cultural credit. I would hope just the sense of kind of the fun and that it's not really that serious, stuffy kind of notion that you get from art, that it can just be well, a little more laid back, a little bit more enjoyable. It's the ultimate form of self-expression. You can do and make anything that you want. There's no limitations. And that message was indeed conveyed, that art isn't just about paint on a canvas, but is about making a difference. She, she did it as a public awareness poster to make people aware of recycling and um, people throwing things away. So whether it was feather-covered spoons, ceramic elephants, or oversized binder clips, this LC juried art show taught students that it's not about the beauty of the art, it's about the expression of the artist. If you missed out on this art show, don't worry. There's two more scheduled for after spring break, so you'll have plenty of chances to earn that cultural credit and experience the hype going on down here at the Weatherby Fine Arts Building. With Wildcats Media, I'm Kaylee Bernard.